So I'm here with Cal Louder. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing it's great. A, it's a really fun, busy, cool day. Like, it's just, there's so much going on. Have you done Day of Days before? I was, like... the, I was in the original one. Oh, okay. Like, years ago. And then, obviously, the hiatus, and this is my first one back. Wow. So has it changed at all for you, or is it still It's bigger. It's, it's, it's a bigger event, obviously. You know, you have, you have like, the first event, and it's, it was still big back then, but this, it's grown into this well-oiled machine with a massive crowd, and, yeah, it's really yeah. cool. So how has the experience been for you playing Rex when you, you know, you used to play Brady, now you're playing Rex? I, it, I think enough time had, has went by. You know that it, it was not a it was not a difficult transition whatsoever. Um, you know Eric Martsoff playing Brady for the past ten years, winning an Emmy for it. Like that's that's he's made that you know character. He played it. He plays it longer than I played it. You know yeah. so um, enough time had gone by that that coming back to the show. It's not like I think if it was a lesser amount of time, it would be kind of weird and and different. But no, it was. Um, I actually wanted to play a different character because I yeah. felt like. I'm a different person now in, in my life and, and um, like something new, something innovative, not like going back. Right. Were you surprised when Days approached you to come back as a new character? I mean, yes and no. Like I, I knew that if I ever were to come back to the show, um, it would have to be a, a new character and that's a complicated thing. You know, it's, it's not like it has to be the right character or the right story and the timing has to be right and that, and that takes, you know, that takes time for all those pieces to come together. Um, so I, I wasn't surprised, but um, I, I also wasn't banking on it either. You know, um, yeah. I, like when I got the call, I was kind of like, "Oh my God, that that would be that would be interesting. That'd be fun. Let's do it." You know. Uh-huh. And you had to go back and like refresh your memory about who Rex was. I did. And I, 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 did I, I had to do that. I had to do a lot of research about the character. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, I didn't know. I I worked with him briefly, the character, uh, yeah. when I was on the show before, but very briefly. I need I needed to figure out who this guy was and what he's been through. Yeah. Well, I know we haven't seen anything yet, but I keep hoping, you know, Rex is going to be involved with Dr. Rolf somehow in this whole serum thing. You know, it's that it, it would make sense. I, I will say that, you know, Ron, he's, a, he's obviously a brilliant writer, uh-huh. but he has the ability to incorporate characters with other characters with a common story thread and things like that. So case in point, you take like a Dr. Rolf, or like, you know, Rex, they have a connection from the past, obviously. Yeah. He will find a way to kind of maybe get there. Yeah. Or like two characters that have a history with each other but have nothing to do with each other right now, they will find their way through his writing back to each other. And that's what I love about Ron. He plants little seeds every once in a while. Mm-hmm. And you think it's like random at the time, it's never random. Yeah. There's a plan for it, so we'll see. Yeah, I, I do think he is also pretty good about you know looking into the history of the show and, and trying to stay true to the history of the show you it's know it's very important you have people yeah. i met a thousand of them today that have been watching it from the beginning you know uh-huh. and it's um you have to respect those those viewers you're going to respect all the viewers but especially the people that can literally call you out and be like what is that like that never happened you know what uh-huh. i mean or like why are you doing this that would never happen with the history of these two characters like ron is aware of that uh-huh. and uh you're right he's very true to true to it yeah, it's exciting. You're also this Chris. There's a Christmas concert coming up with you yeah. and Eric Martzoff in New York. Yeah. The, the, in, in New York, doing December. Christmas. Yeah, December first. Um, it's called a very Brady Christmas. Think, <laughs> think about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So it, December first on Long Island. I think it's Melville, Long Island. It's just about like a 40 minutes outside Manhattan. Um, raising money for cancer research, um, dinner, cocktails, and a concert, and dancing. It's going to be really fun. You know, well, I just remember, like, with the day's 50th anniversary party, all the different actors, so many singers on the show. Yeah, yeah. They would go up on stage and sing songs, and the fans were like, wow, we didn't know this person could, you know. Now, we saw you sing on days. I think but the cat's were... out of the bag with me, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Eric, definitely. He's an awesome singer. Yeah, Got a know. history of musical theater. Um, really, really talented singer. It's going to be a good show. I mean, I'd love to see, like we were talking with Cassie and Olivia, like on the Days app, do Days karaoke and have some of these singers get on there. You know what? Like the the app is all about content, so I would not be surprised. Would I, not I be surprised. That would be an awesome in, idea. in fact, that's coming. I can guarantee that's coming <laughs> at some point in time. Yeah. It should because you know you, there's so many good singers, and it would like open up a whole new, uh, you know, realm of fans that didn't know. Yeah. You know. You know, Without like, a doubt, it's important too. Yeah. I think the fans need to see every aspect of of you know these these 
our lives. You know, I think it's important that they kind of, you know, that's what the app is for and what I love is you get a peek behind the curtain. There's like this character that is on my TV screen every day is actually a really cool person as well. And we get to learn about us as, as people and our sense of humors and, you know, senses of humor and things like that. Uh -huh. So you've also, before you came back to Days, you were doing a lot of different internet series, including yeah. Ladies of the Lake. Yeah. You know, how, yeah. and you were very involved with that. How was that? And Ken Corday wrote the book, which yeah. they turned into a series. Well, yeah, I, I, I read the book and said, uh, I want to develop this into a series. Um, I said, this is this is a great little story here. We can, we can do something with this. And he gave me his blessing and um, we made a mini series out of two seasons of it out of his book and it was we got nominated for an Emmy for best like outstanding show which was not expected at all and really cool so yeah that was a, a great experience for all of us.